Hey guys, it's Infinite. And like last video, we're playing COD 4 again. This is a team deathmatch on Crash. And you know what? I love this game. I'm just <laughs> reminding me how much I love this game from playing in these past few days. But today, in this commentary, I want to focus on my future. Well, not my future because there's nothing's really definite, but what my plans are in the future. This is recommended by one of my subscribers. And I thank him for it because I would have never thought of doing that. It's a really cool idea. So, what I plan to do after I get out of high school this year. Well, actually, let me, let me explain high school first. How I've done in high school and everything that's happened to me. Well, I go into high school, freshman year, after a rocky road in middle school. Some good years, some bad years, you know. And... I just totally go in carelessly. Like, my freshman year and my sophomore year, I did absolutely horrible. I mean, not horrible in school, horrible for what I can do, like with my level of intelligence. Like, I, I'm not saying I'm a genius, but if I put a little bit of effort in, I should be doing really good in school. So, I had like, high 70s, low 80s grades, all, f maybe even worse than that in some classes. Like, I'd, I'd do like really good in some classes that I could do without any effort. And then I do really bad in the classes that I uh, needed to work on more. So I just did pretty bad freshman year, sophomore year. It might even be like a 75-ish average. But then junior year, I don't know, I feel like some force took me over or something. And I actually just started doing really, really good in school. And actually last year was my junior year. I had probably like a mid-90s overall average towards the end of the year, which is really good. Well, not, not really, really good, but it's, it's pretty damn good for someone who never, who slacked their whole life, so I was pretty proud of myself to be able to motivate myself to do that. Problem is, getting into college, you have to have a good overall GPA, not just one good year, and this triple spray is beautiful. But, so, also with the financial position I'm on, my family's very, very, very middle class, maybe even a little bit below middle class, not much money around here. So... My idea was to go to my uh, community college and go there for two years, get the basic learning for those two years, continue what I've been doing, keep doing good in school, like obviously senior year I've been doing good too this year, and try to get a decent scholarship into another school, transfer there for four years, and there's my master's, six total years. What I plan on getting majoring in is, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I want something in the business field. I love business. I love the whole stock market. I just love everything associated with business. My dad um, is a car wholesaler, and I'm really interested in the whole business thing. So I'm definitely going to major in business. Now, another thing I'm really interested in, too, is law. I'm actually taking criminal law right now, and it's something that really interests me. And if I ever did become a lawyer, A, I'd have to take into consideration all the money for law school. And B, I don't have the heart to be a criminal defense lawyer. I don't know if you guys ever thought about that. But these guys have to save people. They have to defend people that they know should be going to jail for a really long time. And I just wouldn't be able to live with myself. I'm just, I'm just, they got too big of a heart for that. But civil law interests me also. And I was thinking maybe... If everything worked out well, and this is really far-fetched, but maybe go to law school also. But that's just kind of a dream. The whole idea behind that would be is, obviously the business thing's a lot of risk-reward. And having a law backing also would, would uh, give me some stability. Like, if I needed a fallback, I could easily become a lawyer and make decent money there. But that's pretty much my plans for now. Um, another reason why I was interested in business, too, the fact that my dad's got the backing he's got, in a worst, worst case scenario, I could work with him right out of college. So, obviously, the college I did probably wouldn't give me much assistant, assistance with the, car, with the uh, car world, but it would be cool. And it could be something to get my feet wet, because my dad does pretty good with that. So... That's pretty much it with my plans. I'm sorry for being semi-brief. 
It's just I'm not exactly sure. I don't want to do it. I don't want to give you guys any um, information that's not 100% true. But you can guarantee I'm very interested in business. Always have. I just love it. Like, from a young age, my grandpa, uh, he's really into the stock market. Doesn't have a ton of money, but he really interests him. He, he has a lot of money invested in it. And it always interests me. And from a kid, probably like six, seven years old, he'd always tell me about the market. This is a great little, little clip here. Get these two. Got no ammo left. Pick up this MP5 and just wreck face down low. But, yeah, so I'm definitely interested in that. And... See, I want to, another thing too, where this, this commentary is coming too close, but real quick, I want to, whatever I do, I want to deeply enjoy it. If I'm not enjoying it, I'm going to reconsider it. And that's why I like business, because it's a wide range of different things you could do. So, this gameplay is over. Sorry it was pretty quick, but I think I pretty much said all I wanted to say. Final score is 31-3. Um, <laughs> be ready for more Call of Duty 4. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.